toe stands are like every tap dancer's dream. However, they are just like point work. Anybody who dances with me knows that I take any of those kind of moves very seriously. And I do not ask my dancers to just rock out some toe stands. Reason for this is, it is putting the same toll on your body as point work does. So our rule of thumb is you need to be training in demi point and be approved for point work before you are even allowed to do toe stands in my classes, along with the fact that we need to make sure that you're doing it safely and you are cross training with a ballet at that point to make sure that you are training your feet properly. When you go up for a toe stand, it takes quite a jab sometimes into the floor to execute them so you get a crystal clean sound and we want to make sure that you're not sickling or pronating and landing that wrong on your toes. Many tap shoes are designed to be split sole or have pads at the toe area so that way you're able to easier withstand your toe stands. This again is not something that you just want to be doing. You can cause bodily injury just like you would have the potential of doing if you prematurely go up on point. Toe stands, however, are important. This is a step that we can add into our wings, our grab offs, different time steps. We can add toe stands into a bunch of steps. But again, safety is our number one concern when executing them. I will see you tomorrow as we talk about grab-offs. I will see you then.